It's very different um, than what we're used to. I can tell you that. It's um, it's you know one of a kind, and and it seems like it's never ending. To be totally honest with you. We don't know when the next NBA season will officially tip off, but the Raptors and other NBA teams are already preparing for the chaos of the offseason, which includes free agency and the upcoming NBA draft, which that in itself has already proven to be a challenge to prepare for. It's just, uh, you know, it, it seems like forever since we've seen these players, um, they, they might be completely different from the last time we saw them and playing in March. With government restrictions, rising numbers in COVID cases and border closures, it has thrown some curveballs at the Raptors when it comes to scoping out the talent they hope to pick up in the draft. I think now it's just it's going to come down to trusting in our our gut feeling on, on some of these players that you know we don't have the the pre-draft process to to change your mind after seeing guys you know here or there or watching them. For the most part, they've been watching hours of tape on the prospects and conducting Zoom interviews, but because of the uniqueness of the situation, they have to prepare for every scenario. For picking, you know, almost smack dab in the middle of it at, at 29, we, we feel pretty confident that we could be looking at, you know, 50 different players maybe in, just for that one pick because we have really no idea who could go with the 20 picks in front of that pick or the 20 picks after. RJ Barrett. Last year's draft class had a historic number of Canadians go, including R.J. Barrett, who went third overall to the Knicks. This year, there are a number of Canadian prospects that the team is keeping their eye on. There's definitely some some interesting players who we see could, you know, with with the right development, the right um, the right program put in front of them, they, they could absolutely turn into legitimate NBA players. In other Raptors news, the Pacers have hired Raptors assistant coach Nate Bjorkren as their new head coach. And in Leafs news, the team agreed to a two-year contract extension with Ilya Mikheyev for $3.29 million. While there is still no official start date for the NBA's next season, we do know when the NBA draft will be held, and it will be on November 18th. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.